Dale follows Carl in, and lo and behold, the place looks exactly the same as he remembered as a child. Smells like a fart smoking a camel light. Dr. Phil blasts through the burnt-out speakers of the old Curtis Mathis TV. They sit down in the rickety card table in the dining room, where they've had many a fight before. You want some hooch? Sure. He pours hooch into two jelly jars. The men drink in tense silence. Hi, so, I hear you've been raising hell lately. Why aren't you in jail right now? I got somebody looking out for me. Yeah, I heard that too. Lizard tells me you took up with a couple of queers down by the creek. Is that true? You a queer now? No. Well, I thought maybe as often you've been in jail, they done turned you. Now, boy, you know it ain't just the fella in the front who's a queer, right? No, sir. Look, I'm not a... I'm not a gay, okay? I'm working with these guys on a big project. I kind of like my spiritual advisors. <laughs> well, shit, son. It's worse than queer. Prison made you a Bible thumper. No, god damn it. It's nothing like that. Saving the world and shit. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Both men take a second to finish their moonshine and Carl pearls another. So, I hear I got a black grandson too. Dale is fuming. Tries to say nothing, but his shirt is starting to feel real tight and real itchy. Oh yeah, boy. I heard all about that. Didn't I teach you right? You don't never shack up with no titty dancer, you fucking dumbass. Carl, look. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here, but... I'm serious, son. Didn't you notice anything funny when you put your pecker in her and her coochie was all bored out and floppy like a wet tent? Dale squeezes his glass of moonshine and it pops like a balloon. Shut the fuck up, old man. One more word out of you and I'm gonna... Oh, you're gonna what? You're gonna square up on me? Kick my ass? Bullshit. You ain't gonna do a goddamn thing. I'm warning you, Carl. I'm trying to be nice. Oh, Mr. Fucking Nice Guy, huh? Well, I thought I raised a man. You don't like what I'm saying? Then why don't you come shut me up, boy? Carl stands up and takes his shirt off. Dad, I don't want to hurt you. Bullshit. You've been wanting to hurt me your whole fucking life. But you've always been too much of a pussy to do it. Looks like you're still a pussy, too. Dale stands up, blood streaming from the broken shards of glass in his hand. Uh Uh-oh, little baby got a boo-boo. Well, I think I got a couple of Scooby-Doo band-aids in the shitter if you want one. What are you waiting for, boy? Take your shot. Are you a fucking coward? Don't you do it, Dad. Just like don't you do it, Dad. You're whore of a mother. That did it. In the span of about .37 seconds, Dale flings the table into the TV and front kicks Carl into the chest. Carl flies backward in the air through the kitchen, lands in the sink this point he realizes that perhaps he is bitten off more than he can chew don't you ever talk about my mama like that again you understand me carl gets up out of the sink water shooting in the air from the broken plumbing well look who grew a pair of balls the two shirtless men stand toe to toe and eye to eyes equals in each other's eyes for the first time ever Carl, who is a tough cuss in his own right, hits Dale with a three-punch combo. Two lefts to the body and a right hand to the mouth. Dale just rolls with it. Looks his father in the eye. Gives him a big red smile and headbutts Carl in the bridge of the nose, knocking him back into the fridge. Dale stands over his father. I didn't want to do this. The fuck is wrong with you? I wish I was never born. Well, finally something we agree on. Carl kicks Dale in the nuts and then kicks his knee out. Dale falls, and and Carl scampers over to his couch. Dale gets up as Carl pulls a sawed-off shotgun from the couch. Dale charges at his father before he can raise it up, hits him in the chest. The gun goes off through the roof. Dale tackles him right through the wall and into the bathroom. Dale grabs the shotgun from Carl. Did you really just try to fucking kill me? Why not? We're both pieces of shit. No, you're a piece of shit, not me. Dale has his father in the mountain position on the floor of the bathroom. He hits him with the butt of the gun in the face three, four times. That's it, boy. Finish me off. You know you want to. Dale stops. Is that what you really want? Yes. God damn it, boy. This ain't over till one of us is in the ground and the other is in prison. 